Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this one we're going to be covering a fire particle system like the one that you can see on screen now. We're going to be using some textures rather than our radial gradient exponential that we've used in previous tutorials. So let's hop straight in. I have my tutorials project open here. If you need to create a folder then in the initial content folder right click new folder and then you can keep your work nice and tidy so you know where everything is. Two textures that you're going to need are the T underscore cloud underscore two and T underscore FX underscore roiling flame modulate that you can find in the shooter game tutorial provided by Unreal on the UE4 browser. So first thing we need is to create a material. Fire underscore M. We'll open this up. We're going to change this to a translucent unlit material. Now we want to control the particle color, so we're going to need that for a node. We'll place this into the emissive, and now we're going to grab our cloud two texture. Hold M and left click for a multiply. Use the alpha from the particle color and the texture sample, and plug this into opacity. And now we have this smoky thing. We'll apply that. Right click particle system. Fire underscore Ooh, P. Almost typed M. Okay, now I'm required to change this to our fire material that we just made. Right click, type data, change to new GPU sprites. Set fixed bounds. Spawn, we're going to set this to 300 so it's smoother. And there we are. Now if we save, minimize this down, drag this into our level. You can see that it's it's quite wispy, quite smoky, which isn't quite what we want. So let's mess with the particles some more. So lifetime, we're going to want to randomize this a bit. So we're going to go 0 0.4, a maximum of 1, which is fine. Now we get a bit more randomization. You can see some are lasting for longer, some are dying before they reach the top. That's great. The initial size, we want 15. 25, 25, and then we are going to use, hmm, what are we going to use? 15, 15, 15. There we go. Now some are bigger, some are smaller. A bit more randomization. Really nice. The initial velocity, uh, we want to turn it down a little bit. It's moving a bit too quick, so 5, 5, 50. Minus 5, minus 5, and then 10. There we go. Now we've got some that are moving quicker, and some that are moving slower. Color over life. We want to have our initial color be quite a bright blue. So we're going to go with 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 5. There we are. And our second value. We want this to be quite red, so we're going to go 25, add a bit more yellow to it, so 5 in the green, and we're just going to leave the 1. Now you'll notice that they're still very bright at the top, we don't quite want this, so we're going to add another point, change our second points in value to 0.5, our third values in value to 1, and leave that black. Now you can see that they're fading out towards the end, which is great. So we'll save, restart the, lim the level and the sim, and now you can see our fire in our level is just burning away. Very nice, but it still needs a lot of work. So we'll go back to the material to add a bit of randomization to the material. So at this point, we need our rolling flame modulate. We'll drag this in. We'll make a copy of this. Now we need a texture coordinate, so hold a U and left click. Now we need two multiplies, hold M and left click twice. Plug the textual coordinate into the A of the first and the A of the second. And on the first one, we want to change the constant to mm, 0.6. The second one, we want to change the constant to something relatively higher, 3.5. And now we will make two panners. So Hold P and left click twice for panners. Plug these into the coordinates.
then into our texture samples and I notice that they look different it's because we're repeating the texture three and a half times here whereas we're only using 0 0.6 of the texture here on the first panel we need to change our speed we're using a speed of 0.3 and 0.3 we want the other one to go in a different direction so we're going to use minus 0.45 and 0.7. Now if we multiply these together and preview this, and you can see that we have the two combined going in different directions. This is going to break the material up for us. It's going to make it a little less obvious that it's repeating. So the next thing that we want to do here is we're going to mask this. We only want the R and the G because textures only use X and Y values, which are green and red. Now we're going to clamp the values here so that no, nothing goes above white or below black. However, we are going to add, because we want it to be a little bit brighter than it should be, 0.25. It's a fire, after all. They're bright. Now we need another texture coordinate, so hold U and left click. Change the U and the V tiling to 2 on this. So we'll make sure that it's doubled. Hold M to multiply. And now we're going to plug this straight into our cloud. Now you can see this neat little thing that we've got going on. We just need to add this to one more place. So hold M to multiply the particle color by this multiplier here that's receiving the two textures and plug this into emissive and it's slightly darker which is exactly what we wanted so we'll save that and then we'll check out our fire and now we've got this wispiness around the edges a bit more randomization to it, it's less uniform but as you can tell we still need a lot of work inside the particle system so we're going to open this back up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now then, we want to change the color a little bit. So we're going to add a scale color over life. Here, we need to change this from a curve to just a constant. And in the constant, we're going to change this to 5, 5, 5. So now, it's naturally brighter when it begins and dies off at the top. Now we're getting this flickering, which is great. Now we're going to add a size, uh, size by life. We have two points. We're going to start them off really small. There we go. So now they're thinner towards the bottom. And they spread out a little bit towards the top, which is exactly what we wanted. We could maybe have them a little bit bigger at the bottom maybe point 0.1 on all of them so we don't want it to look too much like it's spraying we can probably tune it down a little bit more but for now we'll continue onwards now if we save this we go into our level we kind of want this to be used for a torch so like the guy's carrying it but you'll notice that if you drag it we get this lag which breaks it up to stop this, in the particle system, we need to add a spawn per unit. Leave this at 50 by default because that's a good number. And now if we test it, we'll notice that it's being a pain. Why are you being a pain to me? a dope. You need to actually add the constant. Silly me. There we are. So we could probably do with some more. So we'll open this back up. In the constant again. Let's Whoa, no. So basically now you will recognize that if the emitter is moving, it will spawn more particles. 
Now, depending on the speed that you're going to have your flame move at, you're going to have to determine how many particles that you want. For now, that is perfectly fine. So, the next thing that we're going to do is maybe change the initial velocity down a little bit. It's going a bit quick. Mm, no. Too small for the lifetime. We'd have to change the lifetime. For now, that's okay. Um, we'll make a, a new particle sprite emitter. Hello, little crosshairs. Now, in the required, you're going to want to use the flare. It's starter content, so just type in flare and you'll get m underscore flare underscore zero one. Blech. Gross. Okay. Now, a spawn rate, we're just going to leave those on 20. Our lifetime, we're going to decrease them to a 0.2 to 0.5, so they're not lasting very long at all. Their initial size, these are very big for sparks, so we're going to change them to 5 on the X, and their minimum 1 on the X, and leave the others at 25, which is quite a nice size. You can see sparks every now and then they're coming out, but we're going to change this, so don't worry about that. The initial velocity, we're actually just going to leave this at its default, because they're climbing already at a nice, a nice speed. Their color of a life, in the first value, we're going to make them quite orange. So 20 in the red, 5 in the green, and then just default 1 in the blue, and let them continue on to black, so out value. Change that to black on the out value, now they fade out. Okay. Now we're going to make these orbit like they're caught in in some heat vortex. That's way too big by default. It's way too big. Here in the Y, we're just going to change this down to 10. Now you can see them orbiting around, which is quite nice. We don't want them to spawn quite at the bottom, so we're going to add an initial location and just raise them up, maybe 25. There we are. Now they're spawning a little bit above the base of the fire, which is quite nice. So if we save that, there we have it. Quite a nice little fire. I hope that you guys have found that useful. Um, thanks for watching, and more to come.